Hi guys. So for today's reading, we are going to be looking into who around you can you trust? Who is loyal around you? How you'll know them and why you can trust them? Um, we have three piles for you today. One, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. Um, if you enjoy this reading, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Think about donating to the channel. I do got my PayPal wish list or my PayPal link and my Amazon wish list link in the description box below if you'd like to donate to this channel. I could really use some spiritual herbs and some extra candles or something along those lines at this point if you'd like to get me something that I need a bit more and or you can get some extra cards for my channel so I'm using some different ones more often so anyway let's get started with pile one who around you can you trust and who around you is loyal to you how you'll know this person, why you can trust them, those kinds of things. I feel like this is somebody who is very similar to you. You guys are like two peas in a pod. You guys are both very creative people. One of you might be a little bit more strict and rigid with the way that you create. You might color inside the lines a little bit more. And the other one is a little bit more free-flowing and um, just allows things to be the way that they're going to be. But you are both very creative people, very colorful people. Be brave, be happy, be drug free, Red Ribbon Week, October 23rd to the 31st. You are both people who tend to handle your own problems and you have a lot of confidence and stability in being able to do that. You are not people who are relying on drugs or alcohol or things like that to be able to live your life. You could be a mermaid in a fish, in a sea full of fish. I did it again. You can be a mermaid in a sea full of fish. That always reminds me of that because I got this ring right around the same time that my daughter gave me my Valentine's Day card this year, where she told me that I could be a mer, or that I was a mermaid in a sea full of fish. So you guys are both very different. You both stand out very much. So you both. Um, do things in your own way. You're very confident in doing things your own way. Original Herbs Sarsaparilla, you guys mo also are both very protective of your family, of the ones you love. You're very loyal and committed to the people in your life that you feel like are your people. You both are people that can really rely on each other and have each other's backs. I feel like you know who this person is, or if you don't, you really should know who this person is. We also have the rose here, so I feel like you guys are also both a little prickly in the way that you do things, prickly in the way that you deal with people, maybe especially considering you're not using anything to numb anything down, so you're expressing yourselves and you're doing it in a healthy manner, things like that. But you guys are both people who are, um, who handle flaws and imperfections and others very well and you accept them as they are Aquarius friendly Scorpio passionate yeah there's a lot of mirroring energy for this pile you are very similar to this person or people that you can trust that have your back they could be an Aquarius or a Scorpio or you could be um, these people are very friendly passionate they enjoy life they love to stand out they love to do things their own way they're very unique they're very different they really are people that just can't help but to radiate happiness and joy um, and they're very emotional as well but they may keep a lot of those emotions to themselves and you might as well we have Q T. I don't feel like I feel like this person is not afraid to cry so if this is somebody who has cried in front of you without flinching you'll know who that is QTC L F D Z somebody called me DZ for a bit P Q G J A Jap Japanese Y, J, Day, Z. J is actually the one that used to call me DZ. I called him J. His name was James, and he called me DZ. L, A, T, M, W, Ma, Matt, 
lame, lamp, lad, zap, hula. <laughs> um, this person may hula or they may belly dance very well. Cult. Uh, <laughs> Cult is here. Cut. You guys both might have dealt with some sort of cult-like behaviors from others in the past. You could have came from backgrounds that were filled with a lot of grooming or a lot of uh, things like that. Jazzy. Jazz. This person may do jazz hands. <laughs> Tap. Tap. You know what? This person may really love to dance as well. There's almost dance here, but also there's jazz, there's tap, there's, we have clap too, jazzy, flap, flat, walt. This person may really enjoy Disney movies. Waltz, we have waltz too. See, we have waltz, we have jazz, we have tap. This person really enjoys dancing. Gay, tay, lap. Yeah, lap dancing too. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Let's see. Someone you touched in life. Understanding person. Creative person. Fulfilled person. Once again with that creativity as well. So whoever this is, they are a very creative person. They're a very fulfilled person. They're a very understanding person. And they are somebody that you really touched throughout your lifetime. That you were really a big part of their life. And I feel like this person was a big part of your life as well. We also have Clay. Tango. I think Tango's in there too. So yeah, there's a lot of dancing in this. This person really likes to dance. Golden egg, dolphin, you may have even danced with this person at some point. Nine of wands, strength, and the five of cups. <clears throat> this is somebody who would be there for you in your sad moments and try to lift your spirits. This is somebody who is a healer, somebody who's positive, joyful, loving, light, kind, intelligent, and they see the beauty radiating out of you as much as you see that beauty radiating out of them. This is somebody who um, would help you be able to walk through your darkest moments and to focus on the good things in front of you instead of the bad things that were left behind. This is someone who has a lot of inner strength, a lot of inner peace, and somebody who has had to fight through their life in a lot of ways. Somebody who has been through a lot and has continued to go forward even with everything they've been through. This is somebody who has been through a lot of depression and has been able to overcome that. Somebody who's been able to tame their inner demons and their inner beast and has been able to stand up strong and face the day and who has been able to close the past doors and open new doors somebody that really has been there for you when you needed a shoulder to cry on as well and somebody who has helped you to see your own inner strength and to help you feel strong in your life somebody that really has um, brought a lot of beauty and light and peace to your life and you have done this for them as well in the past. You have been there for them through everything that they have gone through and through all the hurt and hardship and pain. And this person would never think of betraying you for a second in their life. In fact, this person may actually kill to protect you or take a bullet to protect you because this person sees your beauty. They see your light. They love the person that you are and the beautiful things that you contribute to this world. And they would do anything they needed to to protect that if they felt it was necessary. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you had to say about it, and um, I'd love to know if you know who this person is and what they're like. That would be great to hear about too, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile two. So let's see who has your back, how you would know them, why they have your back, in what ways. Um things like that. I feel like this person is very childlike. I feel like this person is somebody who also had to transform themselves, who may have used to have been in a people-pleasing mode and in a lot of codependent situations, but has um, really changed a lot over the time and has um, healed themselves very much so, healed their heart, healed their passions. I feel like this is somebody who goes after what they want. They always see the glass as half full. 
And even when the glass doesn't have something in it, they're just grateful to have a glass. So this is somebody who's very grateful, somebody who <clears throat> really loves you and loves showing that affection towards you. This is somebody that you would know loves you by their physical behavior. I'm going to grab my water really quick. Sorry, guys. This is somebody that you would be able to tell it's them because they are somebody that shows their love through physical affection, through um, hugs and laughter. This is somebody that you could just have a peaceful day chilling by the fire with or somebody that you could um, cozy up and watch a movie with. Somebody that feels like family. This feels like family to you. And this is also somebody who dreams big and believes in magic. Somebody that um, sees things in their own perspective and doesn't mind exploring a lot of different ideas or perspectives about the world. Somebody that has a very open mind and is very non-judgmental. We have Sagittarius, optimistic. And Taurus, trustworthy. <clears throat> So this person is somebody who is very optimistic. They see the world with some rose-colored glasses at times. Um, they're very trustworthy. They are honest, down-to-earth, grounded, solid, and stable. This is somebody who's very, very stubborn as well and likes doing things their own way. This is somebody who really enjoys the family life as well. Somebody that enjoys just chilling and watching a movie, having a Netflix day, or uh, cooking and eating together, or having a campfire and just chilling around it and talking and enjoying life. This is somebody that really is the life of the party too and is very outgoing, very different, who stands out and people notice them everywhere they go. And this is somebody who's humble as well. This is somebody that is uh, very friendship oriented, very family oriented. They treat their friends like their family and vice versa. I feel like you treated these people like family and there's a lot of loyalty from these people to you, whether you see it or not, because I feel like they transformed their lives and transformed their beliefs about themselves and the world around them because of a lot of your influence. We have mom. These people may even look up to you like a mom or you could them, supportive person. I feel like you've been very supportive to these people, stepmom. Like I said, it could be a real mom. It could also be somebody that um, is looked to as a mom, whether that's your mom or they see you that way. You could be the mom friend. These could be the mom friend, witch or seer. Um, yeah, I feel like you really helped these people to be able to accept themselves and to accept who they were and to accept that it wasn't a bad thing and they weren't evil for being that champ, champion. Because we are the champions of the world. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. Yeah. Chimp. I got chimp too. C-H-M-I-Q-O. D, hot dog. <laughs> Maybe you roasted some hot dogs with these people at some point. T, S, S, and you could be the Scorpio or, or the Sagittarius or Taurus, or they could be. And by the way, I got Scorpio in the first pile, so that one may resonate with you too. J, Y, Z. We have Miss, Missed, Missed. We almost have like Missed, like I missed you. W. R, Rusty, Rust, G, Gust. This may be something that rusted. Um, this could be a situation or people that you have fallen out with as well. Rug, S, Z. Somebody could have pulled a rug out of somebody's, under somebody's feet, something along those lines. Quiz, Test, Sit, Sid, Sod, Jog, Jury, story, size, miser, quest. You could have helped these people go on a um, soul quest, like a soul journey as well. Roger, 
David Floss Wesley <clears throat> Misty Dusty Roy Joy Who Home Hogs Chug. So this could be somebody that you've partied with as well. Stingray. B. Um, I feel like you are somebody who is very aligned with the community around you. You may be very good at networking. Or these people could be very good at networking and they may be aligning things in the community around you. Um, building things up for you. There's a lot of... Uh, like aligned energy here. And I feel like you guys can all sting each other at different times, but there's always forgiveness and love to be found. There's a lot of talking going on, gossip, or a lot of um, things being said in the community around you as well, maybe. Emperor, Three of Pentacles, and Six of Cups. So there may have been a situation here where there was a lot of obstacles in something that you were working on. A lot of growth was necessary. A lot of teaching and learning was done here. And um, you have really been able to step up into your power and step up into your leadership role. I feel like you have led a lot of people who are younger than you. You've helped them to get into their roots and to tap into the things that were causing the rest of the plant to be dying out, the rest of them to be dying out. And you were able to help them fix their roots and heal their roots so that they can um, overcome anything that comes their way. These people were able to overcome and surpass these challenges because of you. And if you had any challenges or you had anything going on that you needed help with, I feel like these people would be here for you in a heartbeat. I feel like these people may not have been in the past as well they may have uh, disappeared when you needed them. But I feel like they have learned their lesson on that front. These people may look to you as a father figure or a mother figure. Or you could look to them as a father or mother figure. You also, um, this could be a partnership as well. Where you both are there for each other, are solid for each other. And um, working together. It may be something that is being healed and coming back together as well. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you had to say about it. Whether or not it resonated. Who these people might be. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day. Whatever it is. Wherever you are when you're watching. Bye bye guys. Pile 3. So for pile 3. Let's see who is loyal to you, who you can rely on, why you can rely on them, in what areas, and how you might know them. This person is somebody who loves very unconditionally. This is somebody who is kind of like that mom friend, which pile two was kind of similar to that. 1830. This is somebody that um, may be very religious as well or very spiritual. Somebody that really changes very often. Somebody that um, goes through a lot of different ways of being. This is somebody who you both may shapeshift a lot. You may change a lot. You may go through a lot of different things. And it, on the other side of it, you end up very different than you started out. It could also be that uh, you guys started out from not a whole lot and molded yourself into something amazing. You guys may have went through some form of grooming in your past or in your childhood. And you guys have been able to break free of that. And Pile 1 had something similar to that in it as well. We have that little smiley face guy. Um, this is somebody that is very confident. It doesn't matter what they look like or what they got going on. This is somebody that even if they got soot all over their face, they will walk with a smile on their face and they can stand tall. This is somebody that... Um, may be very hypnotic with the way they speak or the things that they do, the things that they preach. Somebody who's very unconditionally loving and somebody who's very positive, joyous, faith-filled. Somebody that um, knows that everything is going to be okay at the end of the day. W, K, Walker, Walk, E, U, S, Super, Gemini intelligent, Virgo, practical, 
Leo, generous. So um, this could be somebody who has a lot of pride. This could be somebody who is very analytical and logical. Somebody who's very intelligent and, and knows a lot about different things. Somebody who can fit in anywhere they go, pretty much. Somebody who can um, change it up depending on the people that they're around. Somebody who is a leader and somebody who likes to stand out. This may be somebody who is involved in a lot of drama or chaos in their life around them, but they're very grounded. They're very... Um, practical in the way they do things they're practical in their approach to life and what life has to offer this could be your sign or the sign of those you can trust p n z cozy you i think pile one had i said cozy into n penny <clears throat> pencil n l y v j judge B V I feel like if you had some sort of lawsuit against you or anything like that these people would be there in a heartbeat to stand in your corner and to express what needed to be expressed cop these people could be in the law in some form themselves they could be cops or judges or um, something along those lines lawyers W Y H B happy hoppy Ben Boy, Bow, Hope, Snoop, Snoopy, Spoon, Lonely, Only, because I'm a lonely chick. I don't know why that song popped in my head, but I don't remember any of the rest of the lyrics right now, and I don't remember what it's called. If you know, let me know in the comments. Spoke, Spoken, Solely, Clover, Coven. Wiccan, Whisper, Wipe, Supper, Super, Jump. It's like you say jump and they say how high. Uh, <laughs> and vice versa. Clove, Polly, Woke. Lone, Gloves, Boon, Bone, so let's see what else we got here, someone from childhood, stable person, unique person, ready person healer or shaman so these people that you're dealing with are healers and you're a healer as well you guys have all been very unique people since the time that you were little um and you're all very stable people i feel like these people even if they weren't ready in the past they're ready now to be awake and to really work towards the collective good these are people that you have known for a very long time you may have grown up with them they could be your siblings um they could be uh mother or a father figure or um siblings is one of the things i'm getting strongest or uh friends these are people that have been um have worked really hard to get to a stable position or a stable place and they see your worth and they see your value and they would be ready to protect you because they don't feel like you are somebody who is going to fight those battles yourself i feel like you have a lot of faith and you place your faith in the higher powers and I feel like some of them may feel like that's dumb and they may feel like uh, you need to be fighting and you need to not be doing that but your faith is what protects you and they don't realize that yet I feel like if they're not awake yet and they haven't woken up to that realization that as they watch you be protected from above as you fight this battle with peace at the core of it they're gonna have a whole new change in perspective in the way that they do things and they are gonna want to do things differently these are people who have been through a lot they have gone through a very rough hard journey with not much there to support them or to um, grow from and they found everything they needed within themselves to be able to withstand or to be able to um, endure this journey and this trip they 
are and you are that way you are I, there's a lot of mirroring energy in this one in pile one there was too but you are somebody very stable strong confident solid somebody that brings happiness love and light everywhere you go and I feel like these people do too they try to make the world a better place around them along with the way that you do six of wands two of pentacles and the empress and the emperor came out in pile two as well there was a little bit of union energy there so if you're interested in that go check it out um you are looked to as a mom friend to everyone around you basically you are this loving unconditional nurturing caring beautiful being who just gives beauty and fertility and growth to everyone around you you um take care of yourself so that you can take care of others as well and you're capable of doing a great deal of things all at once and yourself and remaining at peace while you're doing it you bring transformation to the lives around you in a great way you really teach a lot you are somebody who does what's best for everyone involved in a situation and you really are somebody who can balance a lot of different things at once you have a lot of balance within yourself and you are somebody who has transformed into this person from the darkness you have risen up out of the conflict the chaos the drama the hurt the pain the trauma the um, abusive experiences, things like that. You have victoriously risen up above out of that. And these people have been able to do that as well. You have all had victory over the things that were meant to defeat you. And this is why you can rely on each other in your times of need is because you all know what it's like to have been down and out. And so you strive to help each other come up out of that confusion and come up out of that chaos and have this victory this victory of being able to see your own worth and your own value and you see your own worth and value and you give that worth and value to everybody around you you don't only want to be on top by yourself you want to make sure that everybody around you is on top too and that's why you have the loyalty of these people so much is because they see you as this beautiful being who is there for everybody in need and they want to be there for you as well and I feel like a lot of them want to be able to protect you from the world around you because they might feel like it's not like they think that you're in trouble or you're going to get hurt or anything but if there was a time that they needed to they would step up and do something about it because they see the beauty that you have within you it's really very similar to pile one so if you um, feel drawn to that go ahead and watch pile one as well that's what I have for you guys though and I hope you enjoyed this reading I would love to hear about it in the comments below whether or not you know who these people are or what these people mean to you or what you've been through together in the comments below and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day whatever it is wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.